I mentioned uh, earlier Pat Masiti. Now, Pat Masiti, let me just tell you a little bit about Pat Masiti in case you don't know about Pat Masiti. Um, he's a former sex addict, and I have no understanding of what a sex addict is, but anyway. And he's a convicted wife basher who was dumped as a minister by the Hillsong Church after being caught using prostitutes. He was reportedly, in a story by Jane Hansen, um, now selling online get-rich programs. He was once one of Australia's most prominent evangelical ministers with his own TV shows. In 20, uh, 2016, Pat Masiti pleaded guilty to assaulting his wife for 13 years at their Glen Haven home. The couple divorced. Mr Masiti has since remarried. Uh, after the arrest, Sergeant Michael Plass said the accused was heavily intoxicated in a fit of rage over a family issue. He was stripped of his licence to minister in 2001 when Hillsong discovered he'd been sleeping with prostitutes. He said in 2006, I basically struggle with a sexual addiction. Last year, that would be back in 2020, so two years ago in fact, Mercedes created the Reborn Ministries on the Sunshine Coast for churchgoers who've lost their way. I guess other sex addicts who are trying to re-establish their lives. I don't have a church. I have an online program I encourage people with. I actually don't want to be part of any denomination or link to anybody. I feel a lot of people, as far as the church is concerned, is not where I want to be in life. I'm not losing my religion. I'm a Christian. But I think today it's too wishy-washy for me. I'd rather be my own person. I want to help people become speakers, authors, coaches, and have a voice. I left Hillsong 20 years ago. Well, you didn't leave it, Pat. You got thrown out on your ear. I want to distance myself from them. After Hillsong, Mr. Mercedes turned to property seminars to build fortunes in real estate, but the former Sydney-based motivational speaker is promoting Wealth Evolution, a program for, wait for it, $997, which appears based on Manifest Wealth Idea. This was also the theory behind the self-help movie The Secret, which claimed thoughts can be changing a person's destiny. If you don't take advantage of this, you're only cheating yourself, he writes in promotional material. Your mind is a goal-seeking machine. Give it the right programming and the right target, it's scary. Mr. Mercedi, in a Zoom call with interested parties, claimed, in the last 12 months I've been able to create seven millionaires because I told them what to do. I got 0.08 out of 100 in mass tests because I got my name right. If I can succeed, you can. Not everyone's becoming wealthy, but I have had some great success stories, like anything in life. Well, um, I, I then discovered that he's um, having a number of gatherings um, the first of those comes up this week on Thursday night at the South West Sydney Exchange Christian Church in Speeton Grange. I believe he's also going to Castle Hill near his old address in Glenhaven and then I believe he's going to the Central Coast. Now I don't want to promote where he's going to be. Um, people that go there, let me warn you. Don't take your checkbook with you. Don't take your credit card with you. If you want to go and pay some sort of fee to hear this bloke BS on about how he's changed, do your best. You're probably going to be paying for his Botox. There's not a line in his forehead. You're probably going to be paying for his lavish lifestyle on the promise that he'll make you rich. Pat Masiti, in my opinion, is a fraud. He's a convicted, convicted offender on a number of counts. Don't let him make you his next victim. Please, if you have parents or loved ones who are thinking about going along because they've tumbled for the BS this bloke talks, warn them that if they go, they may well become enlightened. But I'll tell you what they'll come out of, a lot lighter in the pocket by going to see Pat Masidi.